Do psychologists only conduct psychotherapies? Of course not. Here are the subfields of psychology. Maybe the most famous one is the clinical psychology. It is interested in diagnosis, treatment and prevention of psychological disorders. Although the image that comes up to mind is similar to this one, psychotherapy is not just listening to the patient while they are laying down or psychotherapist telling what to do. Instead, psychotherapist uses their own theoretical knowledge and application skills to help client sort of enlighten their way to make better healthier relationships and know themselves better and teach them how to handle difficult situations on their own. We can define industrial and organizational psychology as the application of findings of psychological science to workplace. For example, it should be asked to industrial and organizational psychologists to how to create better assessment tools for recruitment and how to make more structured interviews, which they say the current ones are not so scientific at all. Developmental psychology examines how people grow and change from the moment of conception through death. Yep, through death. So they are not just working with children, they are also working with elderly population. Social psychology is the study of how people's thoughts, feelings and actions are affected by others. Findings of the subfield are heavily used in promoting and marketing sectors. So it wasn't the only reason that the quality of the product that made you buy it. Cognitive psychology studies the mental processes such as learning, thinking, memory and attention and we call these mental processes in general a cognition. The next one, the sports psychology, deals how our behavior and psychology changes during, before and after a sport activity and how these changes affect our performance at the end. Experimental psychology studies the processes of sensing, perceiving, learning and thinking about the world via conducting experiments in the laboratory. Forensic psychology could be defined as the point where legal system and psychology comes together. It focuses on legal issues such as determining the accuracy of witness memories. Health psychology, on the other hand, explores the relationship between psychological factors and physical ailments or disease. Next, the traffic psychology is the subfield that studies the relationship between psychological processes and the behavior of traffic users. In general, it aims to apply theoretical aspects of psychology in order to improve traffic mobility, reduce the accidents, and as well as guiding desired behaviors through education and motivation. A recently popularized subfield, evolutionary psychology, considers how behavior is influenced by our genetic inheritance from our ancestors. Whereas neuropsychology is the study of the structure and function of the brain as they relate to specific psychological processes and behaviors. So it thus shares concepts and concerns with neuropsychiatry and behavioral neurology in general. Actually, there are more than 50 subfields of psychology, including but not limited to the ones that deal with biology, culture, personality, education, environment, and so on. To learn more about the different subfields of psychology, you can find a link to American Psychological Association's website about their divisions in the description below along with our reference list as usual.